what I mean. Look at these little, the little ones. Twins. Wow. <laughs> get it, Dro. You want me to get you doing it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Lake Press. Let us know. We got CT. A little behind the scenes, talking football sports. Get a little pump. Hey, he hits hard. You can whack you, it comes out. So, we got, as you guys can see, the hyphy mud, hyphy aminos. Oh man, you know I love that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Pump and reps. Whoever did the most reps look the best, motherfucker. That's why I look so goddamn good. 32 years of high repetition. <laughs> Y'all wonder why you can't look at me? Because you're doing six, eight, ten reps, nigga. If I know you're doing ten reps, I'm doing 20. Because I'm going to outdo you. Yeah, yeah, boom, who got bigger arms than me in this motherfucker, huh? Nobody, boom, nobody, <laughs> nobody, where you going? I love this bit, bro. I love this shit. Shred it all the time. Woo. Shredder. Look at them cuts. Look at them cuts. That's why they jealous, Drucy. That's why they Damn. jealous. Young motherfuckers can't look like this. Uh -uh. Huh? Ah! Pump, baby, pump! Till it explode. Ah. Yeah, you like that, don't you, Skid? You like that, don't you, Skid? Yeah! <laughs> what up, boy? What's happening with you? What up, hello? That's how you do it. Whoa, whoa. 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 Whoa, I saw it, I was like, no oh, way, both of them together doing something? Like, this is sick. Yeah, so I was like, oh god. And I was just walking, I was like, hey, who's the biggest guy here? Okay, found him. So I just, I just say what awesome, I mean. I appreciate you sure. just keep going. I, I love blessings, the rap and shit, dude. It's so awesome. It gets Thank me hyped. You. Oh, yeah, we gotta keep it lit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I film, I film uh, the videos for him. There you go, get it. I never thought I was gonna get these results either, but. Right. So I, I show up right when these guys finish. So, well, then you go. like a fucking rock. Yeah, I would hate to have to rescue your ass. <laughs> put you on my back. Oh, oh hey, I wrestle <laughs> head and arm, boy. I can take you down to head and arm. <laughs> so that was 10 years ago. Okay. Yo, yo, who you texting, bro? You texting Ralph? Look at that photo, who took that photo? Let me see that. That's fucking nice. Woo. Yeah. And they didn't want us doing that. Yeah. I lost all my time in prison for working out. Oh, day. Yeah, I had a seven year uh, bid to do. Okay. And I would have got out in five years and 10 months. Yeah. But I lost all my time for working for out. Working out. Well, no, they ended up having like to they... do the seven. Yeah. There's some spots in Texas right now. They can't even do push ups. Push ups. They go to the Why? fucking. 
It's just they don't want you to be in shape. Yeah, I think they try to have mind control. Yeah, over. well, because yeah. I did an expo last year in Texas, and the correctional officer, he said, man, we send niggas to the hole now to doing push-ups. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that's messed up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Your body don't know what it is. It's made in the lab. A fucking dude stirring up hella chemicals. Yeah. And you go pop that in your fucking body? Every yeah. day, but pounds of it? Yeah, they don't know what they taking. No. They have the time. All they see is this end of Pretty little container. The half time if you read it, it say drink water. If it say drink like eight glasses of water, yeah. they're, they're telling you something wrong with it. You got to clean your body. But out. you know the thing I'm most disgusted with with America, high fructose corn syrup. I know that's an everything. Everything. That's, that's an everything. I just learned about it last year. So I'm like a big advocate now, yeah. you know, about it. But now you go to grocery stores. You can see on good shit, no high fructose yeah. corn syrup. Yeah, let me see my phone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, like, like me, like me and my workout partners, like we, like we. we seminar a 30 minute seminar and uh we're gonna show y'all some footage of it people get to ask me questions stuff like that hello big hand for polly <laughs> beautiful the body is here everything is here thank you hello hello i gotta stand up and the whole time. also know one thing i want to mention is you know, when I talked about adversary, Kali was uh, incarcerated for some time and he, he, they took the equipment away from, uh, from, 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 the, from the prison, basically. So he had to learn how to get himself in shape without, without weights. So when somebody says like, oh my God, I cannot afford a gym membership, I cannot go to the gym, I cannot train my body. Look what Kali did, he turned it around and he was able to actually build a physique Based on, on biometrics, oh, based on uh, not having one gym equipment, and probably not also the, the best kind of high protein kind of food I can imagine. But Kali will tell you more about it. So, big hand. This is a this is a question and answer, obviously as well. There's a microphone here as well. If you want to answer, ask any questions to Kali, I'm here to support. So, check, check, check. Good luck for Kali. Yay! Hello, 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 everyone. 
everyone. Thank you guys for coming out and coming to this beautiful expo to see all these beautiful people that's here to inspire. And I just want to start off with saying blessings to all of you. I hope that uh, your life is going wonderful, you staying healthy, eating healthy, and being around healthy minded people. Oh yeah, that's fine. So, I want to just start off with the people that don't know me. I grew up in Oakland, California, uh, on 98th and East Street. Uh, and this street, I mean, it was crazy. It was a lot of dope dealing, a lot of murder, shootouts, and stuff like that. And, you know, my mother raised me to, and my brothers to mind our business, to stay focused, become successful. Uh, my mother been a nurse for 30 years at Summit Hospital in Oakland. My father had his own business, which he just uh, last month turned 90 years old. So that's crazy, 90 years old. And so uh, I went to, I graduated from Castlemont High School in Oakland, went to Fresno State on a full academic and athletic scholarship. And unfortunately, the devil got into my head and I did a dumb crime. And I ended up going to prison for seven straight years, from 1994 to 2001. And, you know, most people would have thought I would have learned my lesson from that. I'm going to stand up. And so I did seven years straight, got out, and guess what? Kali Muscle didn't learn his lesson. I went back again to prison. Got out from that. Did Kali learn his lesson? No. I went back again. Went back again after that. And after that, so I ended up doing a total of 11 years of prison. And the last time that I got out, fortunately, I moved to Los Angeles once I got off parole. And that's when my life, and I was able to see that life was more than carrying a gun and bulletproof vests and selling drugs, which I was doing in Oakland. And so I got into acting. I started doing YouTube videos. And God just opened up doors that I never thought was possible. You know, uh, I didn't never want to be famous. I didn't take pictures. I didn't, as a kid, I only got about two, three pictures as a teenager. Because when I grew up, it wasn't cool to take pictures or do videos. And so when I got to Hollywood, I just, I got rid of all the uh, negative, uh, I can't laugh, I can't have fun. I just put all that to the side. I just became this big entertainer. You know what I mean? I didn't take myself serious like most fitness bodybuilder guys. You know, they don't think they can laugh or have a good time or or uh, smile, you know. And so I just put all that, uh, I would call it immature thinking to the side. And I became who I am today. And I just thank God for waking me up and, you know, being able to motivate and inspire you guys. So I just want to thank you again for coming out. And we're going to ask some questions, answer some questions. Anybody have any questions? Don't be shy. Come up to the mic, please. All right, everybody. Anyone have questions? If you want to come forward here, this mic is hot. It's ready for you. <laughs> and it's not biting you, so that's good. <laughs> well, yeah. Any questions? Come on, y'all. This is the Bay Area. Come on. I know y'all ain't shy. What's going on, brother? All right, now. How you doing? I'm all right. When it comes to your lifting, what, you, what would you suggest? Heavy volume training? Or, with, or like the lower rep range of heavy training? Or light, light or weights? Like, what do you suggest for muscle growth? Muscle growth? So, I would so, as a kid, I always thought heavy. You know, uh, I would see the magazines, because there wasn't no YouTube out or nothing like that. And I didn't buy any workout DVDs. So, you know, growing up in the hood and dudes being in, coming out of prison, you always start heavy. 
so once I went to prison and they took the weights out of San Quentin, everybody had to do high repetitions. 500 to 1,000 push-ups a day, 500 dips, 500 pull-ups a day. Best bodies I've seen in my life of high repetition. When you look at gymnasts, phenomenal physiques. When you, people don't, people don't really look at what's in front of them. When you look at a speed skater, you know in the Olympics, those speed skaters, you see their quads? They don't do squats or leg press. They're pumping a mass amount of blood into the muscle. Everybody now, I was at the gym the other day. I just started going back to public gyms because I built my home gym because can't nobody handle me when I walk into their gym. <laughs> and so I started my own home gym. But anyway, I started back going to public gym. A little youngster, he had on a 45 and 25 plate on the, uh, on the uh, bench press. He couldn't do one rep. I had to come over there and grab it. I said, what are you, you gonna kill yourself? What is you doing? He said, I thought I was supposed to go heavy weight. I said, you did a quarter of a rep. How are you gonna get big? I said, if we have a, if we have two tires right here in front of us and we got an air pump, I pump one big time, and you pump ten times. Which tire is going to be more inflated? The one ten times, right? That's the science of the body. Why do everybody think heavy weights to you? Bro, I looked good when I got out of prison, right? But I used to look at the magazines. I'm like, oh, these bodybuilders. They look like that because they juiced up to the gills. I was like all, everybody else right now that's bad because I look like this. I was like, yeah, they just juiced up to the gills. No, they was doing half the weight I was doing, more reps. My new slogan is saying is, whoever do the most repetitions will look the best. If I work eight hours, you work 20 hours, who gonna make the most money? It's all about reps, bro. It's all about who put in the most reps. And that's just, when you look at life, that's life. When we look at billionaires, I was watching uh, Grant Cardone. I was looking at, uh, what other guy was that I was looking at? It was it's the richest man in the world right now. He said, I slept in my office for five years. That means he was working like 24 hours a day for five years. And people jealous of why he rich? He out, whoever do the most reps, put in the most hours, go be the best person. Financially, physically, everything. Even spiritually, if they're in the church all the time. So it's just moderate weight, high reps for me. Yeah, heavy. We, hey, we see what heavy doing to everybody. I call it body destruction. They not bodybuilding no more. They body destruction, destroy their bodies. People want, people mad at me because I talk about deadlifts. I've never did one in my life. I did stiff leg deadlift from hamstrings. But when I was a kid, I saw that exercise. I'd be like, what man in his right mind would do that? Yo, but lower back is exposed. So everybody talks shit about me. So last week on Joe Rogan podcast, the strongest man in the world was on there. He said, why would an average human or bodybuilder, why would they do a deadlift? This is, a, and he do deadlifts. He said, what's the reward for an average person or bodybuilder doing deadlifts? All they gonna do is Mess up some. What's the reward? So I live my life, I always live my life on what's the reward. Even though I did illegal stuff, I was trying to get rich and wealthy. When I got into bodybuilding, I'm like, what's the reward into me having big muscles? Oh, okay, I could be an actor. 
I can do YouTube. I can, you know, give that. It's uh, everything you do in life. There has to be some beneficial reward, and so that's uh, that's how I live my life. Next question. I'm getting that too amped up. I took too much of that hypey bud. <laughs> Anybody have a question? Come on, don't be shy, Bay Area. Yay, area! <laughs> Question. Um, what's your advice on losing fat by a certain percentage of these? What was the question? So you got two body types. My body type is super fast metabolism. Then you have a slower metabolism. This is fitness just simple. Fitness simple. So me, I have to eat a lot of carbs to gain weight. A person with a slower metabolism drop your carbs drop it. nobody focus on sodium so i learned about sodium when i started competing in bodybuilding in 2009 was my first show nobody focus on sodium bro it's like if your sodium level is high your body retaining a lot of fluid that is not supposed to nobody focuses on that with women, most women shouldn't even consume over 50 grams of carbs. You know what I mean? It just And if you got a slow metabolism, you got to drop your carbs down. It's That's fitness. It's simple, bro. All this macro, uh, I've never counted protein in my life. When I, when I get hungry, I dump some white rice on there, some chicken, or some organic beef, or some fish and I eat it, whatever I get hold. I don't count carbs, protein, none of that. So with you, if you got a body fat problem, drop your carbs. That's all you gotta do. Simple as that, bro. Much love. Thank you for coming out. Any other questions? Cutting your hand for? Oh, cash part. Oh, okay. But, um, <laughs> so for some people, you, when you say carbs, do you mean vegetables too? No, not vegetables. So when I say carbs, I'm talking about breads. I'm talking about potatoes, okay. stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, starchy carbs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. So what, what I used to do with my clients when I was a personal trainer that had, uh, you know, body fat issues, what I would do is give them a half a cup of oatmeal in the morning, which is like 50 grams, rest of the day, meat and veggies. And all of them would drop 40, 50 pounds in a month. But you know, we in America, 99% people are foodies. I wasn't, God bless me not to be a foodie. I always ate for a purpose. I ate to get big muscles. I, ate, I never ate for taste. Everybody, most people eat for taste. You know what I mean? I never did that. I just was blessed. I, I was a different type of animal. That's why I'm shredded. See that boy? You see that? Shredded. All the time. Ain't no off season, off season, none of that. We stay ready at all times. Because the Geico might call me to do another commercial. <laughs> uh, next question. Come on, y'all. Come on, yay area. Somebody got a question out there. <laughs> so back to your deadlift question. Because you got to balance your core with your back, right? So how do you focus on your back if you try to build your core? Because you've never done a deadlift, right? Am I thinking about that? I mean, you got it. You got it. Never did deadlift. So the new age fitness person right there. Anytime you work out, you work in your core. If you're doing leg press, your shit activated. Excuse my French. I just, I'm so, I'm so, this is my life, fitness. I've been doing this 32 years, no injuries. You got kids coming up 15, 16. One was over there at my boot. Blew his knee out, 15. Back, blew out, 15, 16. I'm 32 years, no injuries. Okay, and you know why? Because I never did what the next man did. I never did ass to grass squats to blow out my knees. I never did deadlifts because I see 
All my friends that did them blew out their back. Anytime you work out, curls, disactivated. Shoulder presses, your abs activated. You don't have to hit your play with your lower back. Why would you, you know, I gave an example earlier. Hey, if you see somebody going 300 miles an hour, well, they use Ronnie Coleman as an example. Look at Ronnie. He did that list. I'm like, yeah, look at him. You see, he had 10 back surgeries. Why would I do that? Just like y'all see me, Kali Muscle, he was in a Lamborghini. He was going 250 miles an hour. Then he smacked into a wall. Would you do that? What the, what's wrong with people? If I seen, uh, God forgive me, but bless his soul, rest in peace. If this man took 10 cc's of insulin and died, why would I do that? I can't, bro. They say a wise person will look at somebody else's mistakes and they won't do it. That's in all the books of wisdom. I read Sun Tzu, Art of War, all the books of power. Why would a wise person do what they see another person did a mistake doing? That's called being a fuck, excuse me, that's called being an idiot, a fool, a sheep. You see what I'm saying? Hello, ma'am, how you doing, beautiful? This is my beautiful girlfriend. She she pregnant with our twins, boy and girl. Yeah. So, good question. A lot of people don't know about that. So when I first met her, she wanted to lose weight. So she was working out at 24 hour fitness and, and Sally Andrew messing around just trying to show off for the guys at the gym. So I got a whole tour. So what I did was, I said, oh, you want to get in shape? I went and brought her a treadmill. I said, you get your butt on this treadmill 20 minutes in the morning before you eat. She was down 30 pounds in a month. A lot of people don't know about fat. I didn't know about it until I did my first bodybuilding show in 2009. Orange County Classic, which I went and won out of 25 people. When I, the beautiful thing about competing in bodybuilding is I learned the science. I learned that you don't have to kill yourself to look phenomenal and all that. Fasted cardio is a secret to getting shaped super fast. But you have to have the discipline to do it before you eat. And most of the time it's in the mornings, People say, oh, I work in the morning. Well, be fat, motherfucker. You don't want it. I'm going to do what I have to do to, hey, listen. So I got a super fast metabolism. When I was a kid, I didn't like eating. I read a magazine, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I eat 6,000 calories a day. Guess, I didn't say, damn, I, I can't do that, no. I ate 6,000 calories a day. I was buff in 90 days as a kid. I went from 99 pounds to 140 pounds in 90 days. If you got, if you got any excuses, I can't, I got kids, I, uh, I gotta go to work. I, well, just be an average citizen, fat. I don't, I don't, I don't have no sympathy. I don't, I, I just, in this day and time, we got billionaires on YouTube telling you how to be rich. We got fitness icons telling you the path they went through so you don't have to go through trial and error. There's no excuse not to be healthy, not in shape or rich in this day and time. If I, I'm an ex-con that did 11 years of prison, I didn't come out and say, oh, 24 hour won't hire me no more, no. I made up my own cards, went to downtown Oakland, and passed them out, each person that walked down the street. I had 10 clients at the end of the day. Ain't no, bro, it ain't no, if you don't, bro, ain't no excuse. 
Ain't no excuse. Next question, I'm getting too apt up up here. I'm gonna start twerking or something in a minute. <laughs> and then, come on, y'all, this is your area. Y'all ain't shy, is you? There you go, my boy. What's happening, big boy? Oh! <laughs> Stop with your fast cardio. Uh, I back when going to work, and I have about five miles, so it's a great workout. Uh, what's your best yield lap after that? To trim you down fast, I give you a half a cup. Rest of the day, meat and veggies. You'll be in shape in a month, guaranteed. Oh yeah, you gonna owe me some money when you get in shape too, boy, for that dollar. <laughs> how you doing? Beautiful, how you doing? Doing well. So, uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube showing cooking with Cali and uh, the Hyphy Burritos is amazing. When is the Hyphy Cookbook coming out? Oh, good question, man. Uh, so what I learned is, you know, I wrote an autobiography, ex-con to icon. I got a few books over there. Guess what? We live in an era where people don't like to read. It, it just is what it is. People don't like to read. They'd rather see it visually. So I do have, I'm in talks right now having a TV show, an actual TV show, uh, Cooking with Kali. So cookbook, it's like once I wrote my book, I saw that, you know, people don't, my thing now is promoting all healthy. I want my viewers, people that don't know me, to know me by promoting health. You know what I mean? I'm back to healthy fitness. I'm not trying to, you know, and I don't want to talk down on businesses in here or whatever, but I'm against supplements that's going to kill the youth. You know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff that's, you know, the young kids taking this stuff that's going to harm them later on down the road. Cause infertility, clogged arteries, veins. So I'm just an advocate against anything that's unhealthy right now, man. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bless us. Thanks for coming out. Come on, yeah, area. Who got another question? Let's keep it rolling. I got to... Stay pumped up. How you doing, Kelly? Good. good. How you doing, baby? I met you in Los Angeles. You told me how you made that pre-workout. Yeah, yeah. You told people how you made that pre-workout, how you stay motivated. Yes, sir. Oh, you say tell them how I made the pre-workout? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, what happened was my videographer at the time, he was like, Kali. What did you guys drink in jail to, you know, amp up for a workout? So I'm like, shit, we used to put coffee and soda. You know, and he was like, for real? We should do it on video. So we did the scene in the LA River where I had him right here and all these guys lined up and we mixed it coffee and soda. And so this, it blew up. I, it was just like a, something like a parody or something for fun. It wasn't meant to be what it was. I didn't expect nothing out of it. It was just us shooting a video. So all of a sudden, the world took notice and was like, oh, hypey mud, hypey mud. I tried to hypey mud. I'm like, dang, you serious? <laughs> you know, and it just, it went to another level that I never expected. And so from that, I'm saying, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to do something in an unhealthy way, have kids drinking soda and all this. So I formulated my, you know, hypey mud ice cell, my pre-workout. And so that's how my supplement came to flourishing of something that I didn't even, everything I did in life, everything I've achieved, I didn't plan it. I didn't plan on being a YouTuber. I didn't even do videos or take pictures. I didn't plan on being an actor. I didn't plan on having a supplement company. I'm the type of person where if I see an opportunity and it's not going to harm people, I'm going at it. And that's just how my life been all my life. Like, you know, well, not all my life. Once I turned, uh, turned my life over to God again, then that's how everything just happens in my life. So yeah.
Thank you. Much love, baby. Next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all looking so tired? Y'all need y'all some hypey mud, man. Hold on, let me get me a sip for y'all, cause y'all look exhausted out there. I've been on my feet since uh, seven this morning. Y'all look more tired than me. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Uh, hey, baby. Uh, my question is, is it ever more uh, appropriate for your gains to eat the hypey food as opposed to healthy food? Well, in this day and time, I would have to say yeah, because top ramen and all that is processed. So in this day and time, you want to consume as least amount of processed shit as you can. So that's like, back then, that was my only option. I was in prison. You know what I mean? Young kids in college, they don't have the money to buy filet mignon or basmati rice. You know, so you got to do what you can when you can. But once you get woke and wise, you want to eat healthy. You want, you want clean, good games. You want to be veiny, vascular. You know, when I look around now at the fitness industry, everybody look puffy. You don't see guys veiny. And, like when I grew up, everybody was walking around veiny and shredded. You know the reason of that? Supplements. People don't realize when bodybuilders do bodybuilding shows, they don't take no supplements. They might take some juice, but they don't take supplements. You know why? Because your body don't know what it is, so it's gonna make your body retain water and fat. So that's why I look good all the time. I don't take nothing but my pre-workout and aminos. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, thank you. I know I'm hurting a lot of feelings, because I know you guys spent a lot of money on supplements. <laughs> hey, but if you want to look good all your life, hey. Hey, um, I was actually wondering, um, what age would you introduce bodybuilding to your child, like a teenager? Oh, uh, I didn't do my first show till I was 34. I didn't know about roids, nothing until I was 34. I don't even recommend kids taking a BCAA, a pre-workout caffeine. I never took caffeine till I was 34. Why would you ruin your indoctrination system, your whole respiratory indoctrination system at a young age? People don't realize a lot of these supplements will mess up your fertility and all type of... Wait till you over 21, man, to make that decision. I'm anti-supplement for all you, bro. Like, it, it's silly. Like, I, I don't even want my kid having no caffeine today, 30. <laughs> I see kids now at Starbucks, 13, 14, like, what? They gonna blow out their whole system. They gonna have to take more and more and more just to get an effect. Crazy, bro. America. That's America. Uh, next question. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> Last question. Hey, I'm just out here telling the truth. So, you know what I mean? What's, I'm what's up, Cali? Hey, what's hey, up, congratulations baby? Congratulations on uh, your twins. Thank you, man. It's a new, man, new I experience. Just, I just became a dad, too. So nice. I just want to ask you, uh, since, you know, being, being a father, you want to have to spend more time being a dad. So what would you suggest how to train while being a dad? They don't you know, stop. What you, you mean? Know. What's your change? Yeah. Oh, no. For me, all I need is an hour, three to six times a week. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I've been blessed with good genetics. I never had to kill, I never, I've never did a twice a day workout. I never had to kill myself in the gym. I've never been in the gym two, three hours unless I film with a video. I've never had to do the extremes that a lot of people think they need to do. I'm gonna still get my workout in while they sleep or whatever. It don't, it don't take much, bro, I've been doing this 32 years. I've been buff since I was 16. It's no, like, this is like fun to me. Like, you know what I mean? I, 
Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't have to overthink it. Or yeah. So they go, and when I go work out, they go be on my back. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Kali, yes, you're sir. still a baby next to me, you know that, right? What? What? You know, I'm, I'm 51 now, Kali, and you're what? only 44. Oh. <laughs> and this body is built by supplements, yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, oh, wait, he owned a supplement store, he wants you to come through. It's Alkaline <laughs> Testosterone Booster. Oh, I got some of that in my pre workout. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, wow. I want to thank you guys, man. Much blessings. If I'll be at my booth right here, 930. I love all y'all. Stay positive. Stay getting money and muscle. Don't let nobody discourage you from doing what you want to do, man. I love y'all. Thank you so much, Kali. What an inspiration. Oh, yeah. Let's give it up one more time for Kali. Yay. Oh, motherfucking little light, man. All right. Let's do a pause. Show us that 10 pack. Some people like to drink six packs. Kali builds his six pack. <laughs> Yay! Squeeze it. <laughs> like a jumbo jet flying around, taking off LAX airport. Oh, yeah. Like a jumbo. Thank you very much, Kali. And we're moving on to our next inspiration. We have somebody here who stands six foot four, six foot tall. He's 200 pounds and he's very, very well known for his thick muscularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we done. Oh, hold on. Grab the mic. So yeah, we done, y'all. Had fun. I'm hoarse now. Barely can talk, but y'all see what we do, man. I love y'all.
protein. You take protein and creatine? Well, not so much creatine, but I have combat protein from pasta. Oh, no, you want to drop that? What? I never took protein in my life. Really? Yeah. Uh, everybody, when I did, when I, people got to realize, especially you doing the show, nobody takes supplements going into a show. At the at the least two weeks out, they will drop everything. Okay. All that shit does is make your body retain water. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. you want to go in, you, you know, you exactly. Yeah. You got two months, so you want to drop all supplements like next month. Like the end of August? Right, August. yeah, yeah. Two weeks out. Yeah, straight That's eating, better. you look good. Appreciate but I would have you up in that motherfucking hard as shit. Like, so when you, like, just when your arm would go like this, your shit would be shredded. Well, but see, you wouldn't even have to flex. So okay. You just do this, your shit just be. Yeah, oh, it's so, just already there. Yeah, right. but no, you don't, you have the perfect size now. So all you have to do now is just make sure your body release the water. Okay. Yeah, how your abs look. Yeah, so you just holding a film of water. Yeah, I, I can feel the water too. And that's, I wake up in the morning That's the protein bit. powder. Okay. I'm ready for a show. That's what I told her. All those I'm ready, ready for, for a Olympia show. today. Uh, I, <laughs> and that's how I am all my life because I don't take supplements. Only supplement I take is my free workout. All right. It, bro. Thanks for the advice. Oh, man. yeah. I, really I, don't I hope you go in there and kill it. I'm going to look up the show uh, in September. All right, I'll see tag how you, you did. I'll tag you in my Yeah, too. for sure. Right, Do that. I appreciate Much it. Much love to you. What up, baby? Right here, bro. How you doing? Good. Good. Good to see you. What up, baby? How you doing? Oh, amazing. How you guys doing? Something like that. Before I get too big. You know what I'm saying? There was that one video, though, you did like, what? How many muscle ups? 18. 18, That's yeah. the most. How, wait, how so I want to do 20 this year. I want to do 20 muscle ups in a few months. How heavy were you? Uh, the one I did 18, I was about 240 maybe. But the one you talking about, I was 260. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah wow. That's insane. Wow. But it's all, that's all the muscle up is. Coming right here, a lot of people just try to, no. It's a, like you trying to yank a fucking motherfucking hand off. <laughs> And, yeah, yeah. So when I do muscle ups, I psych myself up. I'm about to kill this motherfucker. I'm about to kill. <laughs> and that's how I tell people to go at it. When you do two work on the chest, that's like the one thing I cannot do. It's like chest. You know why you're going too heavy? Drop the weight. Everything should seem effortless. You shouldn't. None. You'll never get big. You got whatever weight you can do this with. 15 right. to 20 times. Right. And mainly incline, you need upper chest. So you want to focus on all incline. Smith machine, dumbbells, hammer, strength machine. Because I do a lot of calisthenics. Right. So mine's all shoulders mostly. Okay. Then, it, then it is chest. Right. So it's hard for me to focus on chest if my shoulder take over. Right. So it's all like, I don't know, like, yeah. it's just hard you, to tell. Well, you gotta do some incline push-ups with your feet up and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Right, so. Hell yeah. Well, what ready? type of calisthenics you do? Mostly like weighted calisthenics. So I do like weighted push-ups, weighted pull-ups. Oh, okay. Weighted dips. Yeah. Why you do sub weighted? I don't know. I kind of like it more. I really like it. It's kind of like Because weighted. It's like what? powerlifting, but it's like... Yeah, but you know, weighted is unnecessary with calisthenics. Yeah, because you can do other progressions and other I, stuff. Me and my buddies, we was like, when I was in jail, it's like everybody asked everybody, how many reps you did today? Yeah. Whoever did the most reps would always look the best. And I was really? that guy. If I knew a dude was doing a thousand push-ups a day, I would do 1,500 or 2,000. God damn. If I dude. knew a motherfucker did, they like, oh, old boy did 500 dips today. I go and do 600. Whoever do the most reps, they'll look the best. All right. I'm you know what I mean? I'm going to start adding a lot of rep training yeah. now. Yeah. Because yeah, you're pumping mass amount of blood into the muscle. Well. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it lit, baby. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Much love, baby. What up, baby? What's up, baby? What's up, How you doing? Kelly, bro? What's up, baby? How are you? Good. 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 Good
Yeah. <laughs> like, dang, that's the biggest I ever seen in my life. Flex, <laughs> come on, flex. Look at that, look at that. Y'all gotta get that. That's the size of my head right there. What the yeah. What part? Back from this. From the shoulder. Mm. Rear jets right here. I do side laterals every workout. Big show. I want huge fucking shoulders. Right here. Pump it. Yeah. Yeah. Rear How many exercises? You did. How all, many shoulder exercises? All you can do is what? Four exercises for shoulders? Shoulder press, front rest, side rest, rear delt. That's all you can do. That's it. Whoever do the most reps will look the best. That's good, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to blow them out. Two, three times a week, side lateral, pumping. 10 set of 15, 20 a set. The motherfuckers will blow out. That's the point. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> That's the point. All right. Oh, yeah. Keep up the good work. How are you? What up, baby? How are you? Oh, man. You me last week? Let me see. Yeah! <laughs> What's happening with your boy? <laughs> How are you? Oh, yeah. You just trimmed up on a little bit. A little bit. Good. Hey, right. looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Right. That's my girl, by the way. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi, good. See how you just did them? That's wrong, though. How'd you just do it? Let me see. You said go here, I think, and then yeah. you said not all the way, and then from right. here, just do this. Yeah. Uh, I tried it, but it's like, I don't know if I didn't do it enough, but uh, is there anything Let's see. doing it any better? Show, it, show me what you can do on one side. Put that under your foot. So yeah, do it like this. So let me see it. Pump it. Right here. Not all but the way you'll down. Be on, right. See how they motherfuckers pumping up? Right. Right there. Ain't no, ain't no reason you, they shouldn't work. Okay. That's all you can do for okay. side lateral. Okay. So I don't know if you're coming down too low. I think I'm coming down too low. Uh, earlier I seen you do your wrist like a weird way. So when you do it, drop your wrist. Okay. That's where the dumbbell go be. Okay. You don't have to go that high. Down, back up, right there. Okay. Well. And so you was doing them? I was doing them, but I think I went too low. I think that's how what it low was. you was going. Like literally to here. All nah. Low. See, remember I told you to keep that tension on it. Okay. So right there, up. Bam! Right there. Okay, and drop the drop the wrist. Yeah. Oh, and then for the quads, you told me a little Mexican told you to do the uh, yeah, leg press. Yeah, Just yeah. keep doing that for my quads. Oh, like the yeah. slower. <laughs> if you got a slow, if you got a fast. squat machine where you know you can rest on and concentrate, that's good. Okay. But you taller, so yeah. you can't do what a short motherfucker there right. doing because you don't want to fuck with your lower back. That's why I just stray away from squats. I yeah. Leg press and leg extensions. Yeah. I mean, like I say, if your gym got a uh, squat machine where you can put your back on right. and stay sturdy or even uh, uh, fucking, what's the word uh, Smith machine squats okay where you can stay and you don't have to go too low okay you want to go right before you hit parallel I don't have to ask to bam I'm tall. okay I ain't never did that <laughs> shit that'll blow out your fucking knees and back that's why you see people do that shit don't lie you tall so parallel look up Tony Freeman, Google these names. I mean, no Google them. No, no, Put them no. in your uh, notes. Tony Freeman, Cedric McMillan, um, Dennis Wolf. They yo height. Emulate their training style. Cedric McMillan? Uh huh. And who's the third one? Tony Dennis Freeman? Wolf. Dennis Wolf. And you got Tony Freeman? Yep. Okay. So these dudes, Joe Height. Okay. Bad asses, man. Get parallel. Bench press. If you're doing bench press, you never want to come down to your chest. I heard it's like supposed to be like this for right. my Yeah. Right there. 
Boom! I was doing a close grip for the first time and I rolled my shoulder no. forward and now I have shoulder pain right here. You don't here. need to do close grip. No, okay. That shit will fuck you up. Your wrist and just... Right. You, you can't even focus on the muscle you're trying to focus on. Gotcha. So when you train, when you train now, all you should be concerned with is feeling the muscle. Okay. You don't have to, you don't want to have to worry about the weight. My muscle connection. Positioning right. and all that. And it took me years to learn this. Because I was one, when I went to the gym, I'm like, huh, oh, I got to get these hundreds. Yeah. So I'm hyping myself up to try to get the, and not even focus on the muscle. And all you talk about is lightweight, high repetition. Yeah, high rep. Better way, high rep. Um, and then last question for my diet. Oh, for my diet, I know I watched your video about you making chicken and rice. For just caloric deficit, is that all I gotta worry about if I'm trying to shred or no? Or does it not matter? Bro, I would up your calories. Yeah? I would have you eating way more rice. How many meals a day would you say I should eat? Because I never know what the actual Whenever you get home. Okay. I'm a I'm an advocate of whenever you get home. It's natural. Yeah. Like me, lately I've been eating, getting hungrier because I've been working out more. So I gotta have like the granola right yeah. there, or you know, I've been eating quite a few peanut butter sandwiches lately to get more calories. I saw Miller eating one just now. Too. Yeah, well, okay. and so you know, whenever you get hungry, you gotta be prepared. Okay. You don't want to have to eat bullshit and shitty shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have you come to <laughs> Because you remind me of like Cedric and right. Tony Freeman and you know, I have you done slow. Any other recommendations for me what I should be doing in terms of like to blow something up on my body? Any other Everyday training. I do that already. I work at 24 Hour Fitness, the one that... Uh, oh, you do? You worked at Bayfair, right? Yeah. I work right there. You do? Yeah. How long have you been there? Uh, three years now. But I live over there, right? East 14. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, my girl, she used to train there and I used to work there. I remember. I but, uh, so you a trainer there? Yeah. Certified trainer. Oh, I went to Diego's yesterday and worked out. Yeah, I could have came there. But um, so you want big shoulders? Every fucking workout, banging outside, Larry. That's what. Any, any. Whatever you could do, 15 or better with. How many sets? If you want to blow them out, at least five. At least five. Okay. Yeah, but five if times. you really want to hit them hard, 10. Every fucking, like me, right now, when I go in the gym, I get all the calf machine. This is every workout, every day. Well, yeah, I got them because of it. Yeah. And so, I go to the calf machine, I do whatever my workout is, then I go to side lateral. Then I go to tricep. Every fucking time I've been in the gym. If it's leg day, back day, I do a push for a leg routine. Right. So it's I'm able to hit my I'm able to hit my shoulders, calves, and tries six days a week. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Thank oh you. yeah, much Always love, baby. Thank Keep you. it up. Thank hey, babe. Calf, shoulders, and tries six days a week. Calf machine, shoulder, lateral raise, and triceps. You stopped bench pressing. I didn't bench press for like two, three years. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Shit. I was just doing machine shit, pumping. Oh, uh, nice. So nice. yesterday was my heaviest. Uh -huh. How much? I was went 405 yesterday. Uh, the heaviest I went in two years, maybe. That's two years? Heavy. Yeah, but I had on five plates on the hammer machine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I saw it. And I banged like 15 of those. Instead of pumping iron. Yeah. Let me have your Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw you at EOS Eastern. You no, I never, I never trained there. Oh, really? I saw you at the Pokey place. The Pokey, Pokey. Yeah, you see me at Pokey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that place. <laughs> That's the best place in there yeah, to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You live in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, I'm from there. Oh, yeah? What gym you go to? Uh, I went to the EOS in Eastern. How is it? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, they the let people feel, I know, uh, I know uh, uh, Flex Wheeler going there, right? Yeah, yeah, the Hot Twins were there like two weeks ago, too. The Hot Twins, they chance, <laughs> they was there! What they did, a comedy show in Vegas? I, I am not sure, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I just saw them at the gym. Uh, my Damn. sister saw them at the gym. Do but they yeah, let people the film in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, just photo shoots there all the time. You do? Yeah. So I need to become a member there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! I'm gonna come through there because I go to that pokey all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna become a. How much is the membership there? Ten bucks. That's it. 
10 bucks. It's open 24 hours? 24 7, yeah. What? Yeah. What's oh, the that's probably the US on, uh, on Eastern? In Vegas? Yeah, yeah. It's right next oh. to the Poke Poku. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to become a member there when that's I get back. Up. I'm gonna go get a membership Monday. Yeah. Because I'm always looking for different gyms, have different looks. Where do you go? The City Athletic? So, no, I go to Lift Factory. I'm a, I got a lifetime membership at City, but I haven't been there in like two years. But I go to Lift Factory. This okay. gym, no, not that gym. This is another gym. Oh, this is Long Beach, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the Long Beach. Metro so Flex. I go to Lift, I go to Anytime Fitness, Anytime 10 Fitness or something, and then my house. Okay. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. your setup. Well, yeah, but yeah, nice to finally meet you. you too. You yeah. drove out here? Yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah, my go the machine. Yeah, they got leg press, the hack. Yeah, the hack squad, typical. What about like a squat machine? I, I can't find, like, a, have you ever been to City? No, no, never been Okay, to City. City got this squat machine where you put the pin in. Okay. The best, the only way that I really ever do squats. Okay. It's fucking awesome. You got the pad right here and just perfect squat. Yeah, I think they have that. I yeah, have that's that. what I need. Yeah, Other so. than that, I just bang out hella late press. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So hopefully I'll see you again. Hell oh, yeah, man. Good I'll see you back in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, so, oh, you a tech guy? Yeah, I am the financial guy. Made it myself. You gotta get up and yeah, get this guy, he's, he's multi-talented. How's it going, man? How are you doing? Very good. Whoa. Training, talking about working out too much and not getting in gains, building up, building the muscle growth. What can I do? I work out. Progress. I work. Yeah, I got stuck. I dropped 70 pounds. Okay, I dropped 70 pounds. I'm getting stronger, but I feel like I just hit a, a stop right now. And I want to get big. I want to have muscle. your diet change. My diet changed a lot. I cut sodas, cut sugars. Uh, my carbs a little bit. You know, I'm protein. I try to do it. You know. Um, yeah. Are you taking protein powders? I'm gonna start doing it. No, don't. Oh, don't. No. Oh. I don't take no protein powders. I don't promote it. Really? Causing a lot of health problems in people. Your body don't know what that shit is. Why would you put something in your body you don't know what it is? Protein powders are like eating a uh, fucking hot dog. Processed shit. Okay. And you know, and so, you know, I, the world made it and these fitness people and all these supplement companies made it like you need this shit. When they know the truth. They, when I, I got my supplement company. So I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna start a protein. Bro, I seen that shit in that. I'm, like, I'm not gonna kill my people like that with that bullshit. Filler, sugar, uh, dairy products, and why a person that wanna be in shape and healthy take a dairy product? Dairy not even for human consumption. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think milk is good for them. Milk ain't good. Cow milk is for cows. <laughs> you know, and it's just weird because my girl that's pregnant, they got in a pregnancy book. Oh, milk is the best form of vitamin D. And I'm like, oh, Americans. No, no, no. I, I'm you, with you on that one. Well, you know what I mean? And so, eat clean. You, I would put you on 50 grams of carbs in the morning. Excuse me, rough the day, meat and veg. I had you shredded, ripped, high rep. You would be fucking phenomenal in like fucking 40 days. Really? Man, I wish I could write this down real quick. Well, well, it's simple. Record it. 50 grams of oatmeal. Hey, let me borrow my phone. So a half a cup of oatmeal in the morning, rest of the day, meat and veggies. Okay. One more time, please. Half a cup of oatmeal in the morning, the rest of the day, meat and veggies, high repetition. Drink your gallon of water a day. It's all you need. There you go. Perfect. Well, how's your water intake? I, I take about 80 to 90 ounces per day. How much is that? Uh, over a gallon. That's a oh, over a gallon? Yeah. Oh, that's 16 good. 16 ounces a pound. Well, yeah. well. how's your sodium intake? It's low. Okay. Do I need to go high or no? no I try low. to I try to always go low on no, the sodium. You want your sodium below a thousand milligrams a day. Okay. Well, okay, perfect. Um 
How many days a week you train? I try, I do seven, but I vary a little bit. I, I throw a little bit of cardio in there just to, you know, right. keep so my So you want to trim up and harden up? I want to trim in and then harden up. So in the morning before you eat, bike or treadmill 20 minutes. Okay. After that, eat your half a cup of oatmeal. Okay. Meat and veggie throughout the day, then get your workout. Guarantee in a month you're going to look totally different. Perfect. Well. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. Much love. Appreciate Happy it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, dude. Good I like the head. I know, right? <laughs> Just a shaver. Oh, a shaver? Blade. Oh, a blade shaver? He get it that smooth? Yeah. I always wanted to try one. But they say with black guys, like I might get ingrown hairs. Maybe. Yeah, so I've always been scared. So I just go with a straight, with a razor. Oh, with a razor? Yeah. But I would love, I think I'm going to try it because it'll be easier. Yeah, it's way easier. Yeah, yeah. Damn, awesome. Nice oh, yeah, nice meeting you too. <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> what happened to that boy? Achilles. Oh no. What happened to him? Uh, Achilles. Oh, Achilles? Yeah. How do you do that? Basketball. Uh, Is that yeah, right? That's, yeah. Just playing for fun. Yeah. Man. I told him he should be lifting weights and stuff. Gotta slim down somehow, bro. <laughs> oh. Hey, how long is it going to take to heal? Uh, six months to a year before I'm back to work. Damn! Yeah. What? Yeah. Six months to a year? Just to oh, get yeah. back to work, yeah. God, damn. I'm well, you're going to be every, dumb every, slow all the time. Every day is chest day, bro. Nice. Every day is chest day. <laughs> nice. day, is chest day. Yeah. I'm going to skip leg day for a while. What are you playing at? 24 hours or something? Uh, I was doing City League in Portland. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Did that shit hurt? Uh, actually, it just felt like somebody punched me in the back of the leg. I felt it pop, but it yeah. felt like somebody punched me, and then when I went to like step on it, it was like, oh, shit, I could feel a ball up on my heel. So I'm like, kind of like walking weird. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, maybe it's just a cramp. I'll go, you know, I'll go to work Monday and then uh, Monday I was like, oh, yeah. Well, I pray for a speedy recovery yeah, for him. I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully not. I think I do uh, physical therapy starting uh, next month. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and get the bumps going right here. Just run <laughs> into that crutch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They just said uh, I got a uh, fluid on it. It might be a meniscus tear. Oh, but they right? won't know until the, the, um, the fluid drain off. Oh, okay. They got a little brace on it. So you had just stepped out on your vacation. Walk, you know? Walked out the elevator and I didn't see the part of water. It took off. Oh. I grabbed like this. Oh. And I felt the sharp pain from my knee up to my groin. Oh. I'm holding my nuts. Like, what the oh. yeah. My wife was like, look at your knee. And my knee just... Immediately? Immediately. That's it. I try to get them to send me up there. Uh, I'm down here in Hayward. Oh, you in Hayward? Yeah, yeah. I'm in Hayward. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been trying to get some young boys, man, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't, nah, yeah, don't, don't want to go. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to hear it. It's funny, so when I went to the pen and got out, I'm like, shit, I'm going to try to go to the army, nigga. Uh -huh. Then the hell, oh, no, we ain't fuck with you. You got to find and cry. I was like, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I appreciate you, though, man. Oh, for sure. Appreciate you, baby. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your service. All right, thank yeah, you. thank you, man. You jacked up up on there. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Much love to you. Thanks for coming out. How are you? Oh, amazing. How you doing? Couldn't be better. Oh, that's all. That's good to hear. Right on. Hey man, you too. and I are pretty big fans. Oh, nice. So he couldn't make it today. Oh man, he yeah. can't come tomorrow either. Uh, no, I don't think he's gonna yeah. time. I like that hat too. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it popped you. hard. Yeah. yeah, I like them shades, man. Thank you. So this company is out of the Bay Area. Oh, Heat no, wave. Kidding. Yeah. It's called Heat Wave. Yeah, they got some bad shit. They come in polar, uh, polarized, yeah. Yeah, polarized, okay. all type of styles. Okay, I'll yeah. have to check them out because they yeah. usually go Oakley, but you know, I'll let them, yeah. I like that style. And they have Oakley style too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right check them out. Absolutely. Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Much love, baby. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Go, so oh, boy. I like those old man. Oh, man. What's up 
What's your book, man? I, I haven't re uh, read it or anything. How much you selling oh. for? Oh, I'll give it to you for 20. All right, I appreciate it, bro. Give it to you for 20. Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah. That's it's a lot of game up in there, man. Too much for a lot of people to handle. Oh, yeah. You know, it's my autobiography about my life. Growing up in Oakland and going to prison, pimping, stripping, hell selling yeah, dope. Yeah. And all that shit. Yeah, I live. I live in Hayward, bro. I watch yeah. your videos all the time and shit. Uh, I was in Hayward yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. You went to Diego's that shit. I seen uh, the, little, yeah. the little video you made and stuff. Yeah. It's just tight, man. I appreciate uh, yeah. you. Have you ever been there? Diego's? Yeah. I passed by. That's on oh, MacArthur, right? Yeah, it's yeah, on so, Foothill. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Foothill. Yeah, yeah. Love that shit. I ain't never what been there you before. Go to? Shit, I go to a commercial gym. Which one? Uh, City Sports. Oh, it's like City LA Sports? Fitness yeah, and shit. Yeah. I, know, I know damn near every gym it is. I know City, City Sports. They just they just opened that up out here. They, uh, yeah. they I know it started in LA or some shit like that. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've been thinking about like transferring over to, like a smaller gym and shit. Yeah. You can't film in there. Uh, you know, I know what I mean? And if you want to yeah. start like a fucking YouTube channel or anything like that. And it's I'll, crazy. That's how a lot of these gyms are now, man. Yeah. I have a lot of problems filming and shit like that, but I've been in Vegas the last three years, so I got a gym. I got two gyms I can do my thing at. That's what I was wondering because I'd be seeing like like all the people that make YouTube uh, videos and shit. They be at hella different gyms. I'm like, do they got hella gym passes, or are they like kind of like sponsored by these gyms? Yeah, or what? well, you know what I'm saying? Like, so two gyms I go to in Vegas, they just gave me a free pass. Okay. Lifetime free membership. Oh, you shit, know, why? Just for well, like this gym, uh, Lip Factory. Yeah, like they let me do my thing. But this is what they do. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. Commercial gyms, they big headed. They like we don't need no promotion. People, they don't want people complaining about cameras. But hardcore shit like this, they want promotion. Hell and yeah. Like more people to come in. Okay. Yeah, but those 24 city. Uh, they big headed, they don't want people filming and shit. Hey, I, li I like how you be uh, telling people not to fuck with the chemicals and shit because oh, yeah. uh, uh, the reason why I started working out was because I got sick. It was all because I was fuck taking medication that my doctor gave me. Mm. I had a fucking side effect, man. When I came yeah. off that shit, I went through all the withdrawals and shit. It was almost like taking heroin down there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, coming off of that shit. What do you have, you know, or something? No, it was uh, Suboxone. It's the come all oh, over. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that shit fucked me up, feel me? Like internally, my yeah. organs and shit were damaged, bro. So mm. I had to How start. How long did you on them? Uh, for about three, four years. Damn. Exactly. So yeah. when I came off of them, Went Your like, liver and kidney was fucked up? My stomach. My yeah. digestive system was, was shot. I couldn't digest so my food. So that shit would filter through your stomach? So pretty much is what you put it in your mouth and let it dissolve under your tongue. And I would swallow it. My doctor told me that we had to swallow it because some guy in class, like I went to rehab and shit. We would spit it out. And then the doctor was like, no, 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 just swallow it so you get the full effect. So it's just like a pill thing, you know, you swallow it right. Mm -hmm. I didn't think anything would happen. And then when I came on, I tried to come off that shit, my digestive system wouldn't work. Damn. So I had to switch to a plant-based diet and shit, bro. Yeah. I had to start taking natural juices and shit like yeah. that. And I started feeling better. I couldn't even walk. So I, was, right? I was debilitated. Like I, I work in construction, bro. Like I'm a pipe fitter and shit. So yeah. I couldn't even do my job no more. Feel me? Damn, I, I got, got a three-year-old daughter. I got a three-year-old daughter. Feel me? Who I gotta support and shit. So yeah. the only thing that made me feel better was lifting weights and just eating right, bro. Yeah. That was it. And then when you when you said that shit on your on your videos, you know, stop taking supplements and shit like that. Yeah. Like I, I can feel that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, so I appreciate damn. that shit. I want to spread the word. Feel me? Just well, yeah. yeah. That's dope. I appreciate you, well, man. Yeah. Your story go go. We go post that. No, hell That's yeah, bro. What people need to hear. They exactly, think exactly, bro. They just think I'll exactly. be talking or talking bad about what they take. Nah, bro. They get defensive. You're giving them when the real I, yeah. shit, yeah. yeah. Real deal, so really. you know, Pete, they go need to hear that, man. Like yeah. we just had a dude on the internet. He was part of gym gang. Yeah. This motherfucker was taking hella protein powder. Supplements, juice, kidney failure at 24. Exactly. Exactly. You know that's fucking. That's but terrible. Some muscles? For 24, bro. I'm only 28. I'm no. I was 28 when I got sick. I'm 20. I'm about to be 30 now. Well, so it's been like almost two years. I mean, man. and I still ain't back. I never been the same. Is me. that right? Yeah. Damn. That's so, crazy. You back now, baby? Hell yeah, bro. Huh? I'm gonna copy a book, man. Hell if I yeah. Get a book, shit, I'll I take like a those. Copy. Look at you. You just know. got Versace shades oh, and shit. Yeah, balling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you want me to make it out to? Uh, shit, just, uh, just to me, I guess. 
How you spell your name? Francisco. Oh, Francisco. Yeah. Like San Francisco. Yeah, when you read this book, don't try to go out there and be a pimp, all right? No, 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 no. <laughs> don't get any ideas. Right. No, I got friends that still in that lifestyle and shit, yeah. man. And I, I just left that shit in the past. Hell yeah. yeah. Try to do some, you know, some legit shit, shit like you, man. Ain't Trying no future in it. Exactly. You gonna end up in prison or not? Y'all look back, I'm like, people like, Oh, I don't have any regrets. I'm like, nigga, I regret going to prison. That shit was a waste of time. What nothing but knocks in that motherfucker, dope fiends and shit. Yeah, exactly. Want to be around them bum ass that's, motherfuckers? That's I ain't trying to be. Hell me? yeah. Right Watch love, baby. It. Huh? Oh, that's mine, bro. That's mine, bro. Appreciate it. Shit, keep spreading the words, hey, bro. Bro, that message go hit a lot of them. Hell yeah, bro. I appreciate you for that, man. God yeah, bless. Yeah, man. God bless you. Well, Take care. Oh man. yeah, you. God bless you, man. What's up, baby? You done trimmed up, oh boy. Yeah, you can beat it. You can beat it. Yeah, I got, I got fourth out of six. Fourth out of six? That's yeah. what's up. Find a picture for you. Yeah. Last time he saw him, he lost his neck. Yeah. He's yeah. showing your neck. Yeah, yeah. He trimmed right up for the right show. Right here, yeah. Right there here. Yeah, I the see last, you. Yeah, yeah, the last. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It was like a buck 20 when I competed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's not about how big it's good. I got Roth, Lewis, whatever, man. Who won it? One, Hold uh, on. Let me get it. Let me find yeah. it. Yeah. It's the guy in the middle. Yeah, let's, get a, let's get a picture from the back. Let's get a last picture from the back. Last friend, let's get it, baby. Oh, right, he'll get it. Have him get it. He didn't think he was going to remember. Oh, you taking it off? Oh, shit, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he looked at Adrian. He sized Adrian up. Well, I take that my yacht day. <laughs> this guy, he was like 28. Yeah, somewhere right there. Well, I was in middle school. Everyone thought it was cool, but I, I took a different path. You know, it was a, it was a hard little story. And yeah. I, you know, yeah. But when I was 15, I thought, you know, because uh, you how old now? 19. You been? I've been seeing you since you was like 14, 16. 15. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 16. You met me. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, but I have a lot of friends, man. Uh, you know, they compete in shows. They're like, oh man, get on Juice now. I'm like, not now. Maybe when I'm 40. Right. Like, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know about Juice until I was 34. Have you experimented or you never did? Man, hey, if you're doing the NPC show, yeah. you ain't got no option. Hey, thanks for the honesty, man. Hell yeah. Hate liars, man. You know. <laughs> hey, but you know, every man do his own thing. But if you're doing the NPC show, you go up in there natural, you're going to get blew out. Yeah, you want the Contra Costa too, right? I want the Contra Costa. I want the fucking California, the LA, the West Coast Classic overall. USA to right? Or? No, I didn't. I took the highest place I took at USA was ninth. I only I think, did it uh, twice. I think Akeem Williams is not showing. Uh, no, I didn't. Akeem came after me. I stopped competing at that point. Well. I think that was the 2009. That was uh, the Dexter Jackson, the Jay Cutler era. Yeah, he's still in it, Dexter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. All right, good seeing you, man. I'm gonna, I gotta Bless get, you, boy. Keep up the good work. What you gonna tomorrow. do? You gonna go pro? Uh, I don't have the genetics, man. <laughs> Least you honest. <laughs> you know I hate that. Like, where my mini camera at? This is the only camera that got the reverse. Right. I had a 4K one, oh, yeah? but the 4K one, like you couldn't film for like a oh, minute yeah. or two, or it would go. 
They need to do a 4K one like this, man. Yeah, I know. This is a problem. I wish it could go all the way I around. I got my A7S with me, too. Oh, yeah. But once again, I mean, with the A7, I can hook it up to my phone and see myself, yeah, for sure. whatever. That's but, the one problem, man. Yeah, I they, do yeah. vlog as well, so yeah. that's, that's my one problem. Right. You're probably pretty pre minus beer. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You've been with them how long now? 11 yeah, years? I'm jealous. Yeah. I remember when I got out the pen, I tried to go to my cousin, like, get me on. Right. Like, niggas running. A dude, an ex con, had yeah. already fucked it up. No way. Yeah. yeah one thing you, the dude, my back was the best here because I had a record. He was like, you ain't gonna let me down, right? And I was like, no, I got you. Let me in. Oh, you had a record? Yeah. Is that right? But it wasn't no violent felony or none of that. Yeah. So he let me in. Oh. Because my, he had a stroke. My son. He had a stroke and almost died like four years ago. Is that right? And he was in the ICU for like a month in a coma. And my department, picked, like two hours after I left work, they picked him up. Is that right? Yeah. So, How he had a stroke? It was like a, uh, something from birth, like a birth defect in his brain. Like aneurysm yeah, or something? Yeah, it was like the same So your veins are just like this. My veins are like this. So we got the I've yeah. seen the chick out of Oakland. Uh, what the fuck? She a stripper. Her son died from a stomach aneurysm. He was only like... 14, 15, something like that. It was sad. It just happened a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, and so you guys didn't know about the birth effect? No, you don't know unless it blows like that. Or you have a scan. Yeah, he had two. Is that yeah, right? He had a small one which blew and he had a big one that he had to have, like, took it out. I'm supposed to have 10. My bra and collar is two. When I got out the pen, about three. Then right. three. Is two. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to have like 10. Yeah. But God, you know, yeah, it works in ways. Right? Yeah. Exactly, you're right. Well. So now you got two. Think as soon as they come out, you gonna, that your life will just immediately change. Yeah. So that's a blessing. I'm at, but I saw that, I was like, it, it kind of warned me because having kids, I know being older and not having that, I was like, I, I saw that post come, I'm like, oh, yeah. so my, my, mother, my mother over there, so she, she had my brother at, she was 34, but my father, that father was 53. My little brother that's 37, his, his father now is 90. No. The boy on one still paralyzed, but he can, you know, get himself in and out of his chair and all that. And uh, I tried to be one, but they wouldn't hire me because I was an ex-fella. And out of anything in life, I would want to be a physical therapist. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the thing I love about it. Is that, like, I just love helping people. Yeah. You know, and, like yeah. just seeing someone, like even if they're paralyzed, you know, they, exactly. now they can do way more than what they could have done. Well, that's, that's crazy, huh? Yeah. How I pinpointed that. Yeah. Damn. My man. That's crazy. Well, yeah. That's that's like surreal. Yeah. There it is. Wait, can I? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, curls later. They don't they don't know about this. I think one of my most epic pictures, I got one of these with the curl would have like three wheels on it or something. Oh yeah. Okay, I get you a sign. 
Much love, baby. Thanks, Callie. Yeah, keep up the good work, man. I'm proud of you. What's up, baby? Hey. How you doing? Oh my gosh. How you doing? Uh, emotionally exhausted. <laughs> emotionally exhausted? Yeah. Why? Well, like, for one thing, like, earlier this year, um, I was at a cafe with some of my friends at, in Fremont, and just when we were about to leave, there was like police activity that was like outside the cafe, and like all of us in the cafe were about to get to the floor, got to the floor, and because I thought I was going to lose my life that night. <laughs> because, and like, it was, turns out it ended up being like a, um, like some kind of crazy drug addict who was causing problems outside the cafe. Yeah. And then, and then if that's not enough. Like two weeks after, two weeks like last year, two weeks after the exploit ended um, on August 9th, 2018, one of my friends passed away to uh, breast cancer. Oh yeah? yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, and her her death anniversary is like coming up like uh, like in two weeks. Oh. So, I mean, it's really hit me hard because, like... Yeah. I, well, God got you here for a purpose, and you just got to be the best person, do the best you can do... I know. ...to honor your friends, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, it was just so hard because, like... Last, like, because last year, also at that time, because, like, I, there was, like, a Power Morphicon and a... Which, of course, is the convention of the Power Rangers, which of course I love, and then my con and my SFC conference was also at that same weekend in Tampa, Florida. But I had already registered for the Power Morphin Con. Well, actually, my brother did because it was part of uh, it was my my Christmas gift from him. But um, because I was already registered for the uh, for the Power Morphin Con, I couldn't attend my conference last year either. Oh, well, you here today, baby? Let's get a picture. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Do you mind if I feel your biceps again to fix it with you? You gotta flex both of them at the same time. I gotta, I gotta get from both sides. Just One more, one more, Callie. Flex. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta get from the other side too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you have the biggest biceps. <laughs> Right. He's gonna take a picture. Of you gotta be tough. Yeah. So I had forgot how to laugh and have fun, and when I got to LA, it was all about fun and personality. Sure. So I had to drop that ghetto hood mentality and open up to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody. Especially <laughs> them. I've been fortunate enough. I graduated from West Point. Had a long career in corporate America. But I grew up in Jamaica, Queens. Oh, okay. Which is a lot like Oakland. Yeah. And if you almost have to be, you know, you have to have a dual personality to make it in corporate America. Right. Right. Because yeah. that, that hood mentality will get you fired. Yeah. And believe me, I, I know because I've been fired because a motherfucker came at me the wrong way mm -hmm. and I checked him. Right. And the next thing you know, they marching my ass out of there. And they you know? and they probably yeah. instigated it. Yeah. The yeah. Person. Yeah. Damn. But it just, it just, I have total respect for you. Thank you. Because you've been able to make that transition. Yeah. I can't wait to read your book. Oh, I can't wait right. to buy my high beam on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, I don't think you need it. You two have <laughs> up already. I don't know Tomorrow. How many people you've talked to today. Yeah. But I've been watching you online. Yeah. It's amazing the energy you bring into this thing today. Thank you. Thank you. You're the only reason why I'm here. Oh, uh, man, that means everything. All right, brother. Man, that means everything. Bless us. Thank you, so much. Thank you for introducing you. Pops to me. Yes. Yeah. I'm 61, right. so you, you get yeah. all generations, oh, man. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm all about prison abolition. Andrew. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. But, hey, I'm going to tell you, I was in prison. 95% of them motherfuckers belong in there. <laughs> and I was one of them at the time. <laughs> Alright, Callie. I broke my shoulder playing hockey, so. Oh, yeah? It's been
been a, been a hell of a recovery. You know, yeah. Uh, what you want to break? You can even tell. Yeah, I can yeah. see it right there as well. I was looking at it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, I never got an operation, you know, so I've just been, you know, doing it. Doing hurt? It. Yeah, I mean, it's here and there, but it's just like, you can't lift as much as I want to. You know? Right. Yeah, you know, a little but bit of the way up the ribs, Don't, don't you know? worry. Yeah, don't worry about the weight. Yeah. Just worry about being in tune with your body, feeling the muscles pop. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't yeah. worry about going hella heavy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. My hand, man. It's been going good. Bro. That's good. Well, yeah. Every day, you know. Keep it lit, baby. One love to you. Oh yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Tell them when we was in the backyard before we really came that day. No, everybody thinks that was like a <laughs> yeah, act. <laughs> They think that was fake. Yeah. Hey, that's the most epic <laughs> yeah. day in my fucking life. If I tell y'all the story just that whole day, right. insane. Yeah. You know, like, it's all the, so when I pull up to his house, all the kids, I've never seen nothing like it in my life. Like a hundred kids ran up. This your car? This your car? It was just, we get in the backyard, we pop and the police come. Two cars before I get to hey, his that's house. It, that's my, it, that's it, it was just. The little, he came from fast up on that little hill. Well, yeah. That shit hey, that was it. crazy. So that same day, a dude in Burbank. The most bizarre story ever. Most bizarre. This nigga, at 7 in the morning, hit a car, got ejected out, was on the fucking, the top of the freeway, dead. So, going into that story, his parents, the week before, when did some type of, uh, what you call it, like, when they cut the sheep, like they, like he was Satanism, Satanism. right. Satanism. So that dude was like he was getting in a lot of trouble. So they tried to do a sacrifice to get him out of that, and they did a sacrifice that killed his ass. Yeah. <laughs> it was a crazy day. That, that all that, that day, one yeah. fucking day. What? The yeah. And then we get an epic video yeah. out of it at the same right. time. Yeah. And all that shit was real life shit. Well, yeah. That's the like one of the most epic days of my life. Right there. Well, yeah. He hopped up on that thing, man. I'm like, damn, what the hell? That's the police shit. They like police here. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what? They, they just came yeah. for what? Man, we we go, it was too many of y'all in one place. I was trying to do something else like that. We was in the backyard shit. We were doing our shit. The homies was in the front. That's why they probably came, though. Right. Yo, too many in the yard? Yeah. yeah. To do some more in the shit. Like yeah, that, that shit was more. We can do it again. Well, yeah. Cause I'm moving back. I'm moving back in a few months. Yeah. yeah. You been saying this since January. Huh? Is that your house? Oh no, no. We're, no, not January. <laughs> what, what was what was that like? January, and February. Yeah. Oh, now I'm moving back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm moving back. Man, I'm missing. I'm missing over a quarter million. Not being in L.A. Man. Just from acting. Yeah, for real, acting. Shit. Well, I got you it. Just I've been doing some shit. Yeah, I did some shit. Last time I was in uh, uh, Get Shorty, uh, I, was, I did Snowfall, but they redid everything. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah. they did. The one, the yeah, we did Snowfall, but they redid all that shit. Damn. Damn. Wasn't that John Singleton? Yeah. Damn. It's popping right now. I took that Snowfall. Damn. Damn. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I'm like, yeah, I, I was bad as fuck. I'm like, damn, why they keep getting that? Oh, damn. Oh, really and so man. you had shot some episodes? Yeah. Oh, and they cut the man. part out? Yeah, they, they shot all the episodes and then they switched the whole cast. Oh. Uh, some people, the main, some of the main cast people didn't want to do it no more. Oh. And they switched the whole cast around. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but you would get a ton of opportunity. You not signed with no agent? Nope. You gotta get your agent. My boy was telling me, he sent me over um, some phone numbers for an agent too. I might so, have to get him up. Are you signed up with LA Cast? No. This is how I was doing it. I know a casting director. That's oh, how I was getting in. You know how I was getting Fucking, you signed up with LA Casting. Uh, what's the other one? Hey, uh, I, I know what it is. Oh, they left this stuff. I got it. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, the one you got me there. The main one is L.A. Casting. Yeah. So with the L.A. Casting, you put your headshots. Nigga, the emails come to your phone every oh, yeah, day. I can see that shit. Well. Yeah, it be like looking for this, this, well. this, this. It's another one though, uh, Actors Assets. I'm gonna have to get that. Signed up with LA Cast and the Actor Assets. I can get the what you call it now, the sad card. Cause I did right. five shows oh, on my side. Yeah. Yeah. Now I just gotta pay that thousand to get the sad card. So when you pay that, 
Like, that's what I'm missing as well. I'm paying medical for me and my girl myself. Yeah. But when you sag after union, you get, you know, where you only pay about 1200 a year yeah. for top medical. You didn't get sag yet? What? I've been sag oh, yeah. seven, eight I'm years. Say, yeah, you Where's my sag card yeah. at, boy? But you gotta work. If you're not working, they take it off, huh? Yeah, they take your medical shit off. Yeah, see? Uh, I need to go get my sag, man. I got the five, uh, what you call yeah, it? Your voucher. Your voucher, uh -huh. yeah. You shouldn't okay. be straining. Okay. We we can't afford to get in. Right, right. You know, being mm -hmm. over 40, whatever, we get injured, that might be the end of us. Right. So you don't have to go in there and try to kill yourself with heavy ass weights. Okay. And that applies to everything, legs, arms, with shoulders, whatever. Okay. A lot of reps. And to keep us now is eating healthy. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. And you looking good, so you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, not at all. Thank you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Waste management. Right. They pulled over their trucks. Golly muscle, what's up? Right. They like, man, we love you. We fuck with your videos. <laughs> and so he was like, I'm 56. And he 50. These dudes look young. I thought they was in their 30s. Wow. So I started laughing. I'm like, damn, I be talking shit in my videos, telling people I'm their father and all this. And here it is, these dudes older than me watching wow. my videos. Yeah. Yeah. So it just inspiring when, you know, men of our age just come up and say they watch the videos, still work out. It's awesome, man. Yeah, you're an inspiration, man. Thank you, man. Much love to you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> What's that? I don't have that much much of a significant audience, but I take it uh, the amount of times that you stream on YouTube, like, you probably hit a plateau, so I was wanted to ask you, like, when you do hit those plateaus, what do you do to increase your viewership and stuff like that? Well, you know, I was just seeing, what's his name? Jack I speak. What's his name? Jack, Jack Speak. Jack the big gamer, streamer. Yeah, what's his name? Jack? I don't know. I don't think I've heard of that guy before. Hold on, let me see. I'm more familiar with the Twitch streamers, more so than, more so than YouTube, but sometimes, okay. but sometimes he, they do intertwine. He's a big gamer. Uh, let me see if I can find it in history. But I just seen a video he did, and he said his YouTube streaming falling off, basically. Oh, really? And from what I see, it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And so that's why I started focusing back on posting videos. When you look at guys, you've seen uh, Almighty Sneaky. Have you seen, uh, like, who do you watch? Uh, you know, stereotypical, like, Dr. Duke. Typical gamer? Yeah, yeah. Or, um, uh, Ninja. Uh, oh, you watch everybody on that, Twitch? Yeah, on Twitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've it, never streamed on YouTube before. Oh, okay. Yeah, Even, yeah. you know, I streamed on yeah, yeah. both platforms. Yeah. I never blew up with streaming. But you like, still have most, a lot of viewers, though. The most viewers I had at one time was maybe 10,000, that was because I was playing with Alex Ramey. That's a lot. And that's when he was hot, yeah. Alex Ramey. That's still a lot. Streaming, I don't know, it seemed like it's yeah. falling off, kind of. It's like, what happened was Dr. Disrespect, yeah, you remember he kind of fucked up the game, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you how. He's an entertainer. Right. So now everybody expect everybody to bring this Randolph fucking entertainment based gaming. Yeah, yeah. And so it's not, you got the Ninja, you got Dr. Disrespect, yeah. you got uh, Dr. Lupo, you got like 10 guys is hot. Right. Everybody else grinding to get there. Oh, that's for sure. But if you don't have this big ass setup, yeah, yeah. this eye catcher thing, if you're not talking a lot, interact. It's, it's gonna be tough. But that's still you, though, in my opinion. I still watch your Well, what happened with me, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you. So I was streaming Fortnite. Yeah. I was having fun with it when it wasn't that competitive. Yeah. So I was doing good, having fun, making jokes, wearing different costumes. Then it became competitive. Yeah. So I stopped 
really talking a lot during oh, the gameplay. Right, right, right. To focus on the competitiveness right, of it. Right. Same thing with Apex. It's yeah. like I got two other guys that I'm playing with. I'm trying to hear, so I'm less interactive with the people. Oh. So I'm seeing that became an issue. Oh wow. Yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. Okay. So but for guys like Ninja or those guys as gods at Fortnite, yeah. they still could kind of interact. They got the same and another thing, if you don't have the same, like what game you play? I mostly play just RPGs. And so, RPG like Black Desert Online, uh well, World of Warcraft, stuff like that. Oh, so you could play solo? Yeah, yeah, more or less. That's yeah. better. Yeah. Now if I was still in the Fortnite playing solo, yeah. winning games, and I was good, like a god, I could still do good progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're not a god at these games now, and interacting at the same time, it's tough. That's fair. That's yeah. Fair. Well. So, so does this mean, are you going to sw be switching over to Twitch TV, or are you going to stay on no, YouTube? No, I'm not going to even be streaming no more. Oh, really? Game. really? Well, I'm about to focus bad. straight on vlogging, yeah. back on the fitness workout shit. All right. All yeah, because right. I mean, it served its purpose. Yeah, where yeah. The reason I started gaming a lot, I didn't want to kill myself in the gym no more. Oh, OK. So I was like, I need a transition yeah. where I can still give a lot of content yeah. on my channel besides fitness. I see. Because fitness will kill a motherfucker. Yeah. If I stay in that gym day in, day out doing videos, with the energy, <laughs> I heard some get right. fucked up. So gaming broke up the monotony of that. I see. And so uh, now I'm like, I'm bored and burnt the game. Oh really? Because okay. I don't have a team. If I had a group like Apex, yeah, yeah. that's my game right now. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. If I had two guys every day at the same time, our communication on point and all that, I could do good. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have that. I have one on at one time, one on at a different right, right, time. Right. So it discouraged me from streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But if I go to a game where I can play solo, if they put solo in Apex, right, right. Oh, that I'd blow up. It's kind of weird they haven't implemented that yet. Yeah. But okay. That, I, I love to, that game, man. I don't want to take too much of your time. Oh, you're not, so much, baby. Man. Much love to I'll you. I'm streaming, but if you oh, yeah. on it, you but, know. Oh well, I stream here and there. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you much love to you, man. You too. <laughs> Well, how long you been working out? Uh, four years, and I had like an on and off year. Oh, okay. Like, uh, I injured myself, and then. What did you do? How you hurt yourself? Oh, uh, dude, it, was, it wasn't even lifting. I was just hella drunk at my birthday, and I was just doing stupid shit. I messed up my back. And yeah. Couldn't deadlift. Damn. Yeah. Well, you couldn't deadlift. I couldn't deadlift anymore. Good. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I ain't never deadlifted oh. in my life. Yeah. Well, yeah. What you need to deadlift for? What that dude, do? I try to get the power lifting, dude. Why? Your frame ain't meant to power lift. You gotta see, that's the thing with this shit. You gotta be realistic with yourself. Most power lifters are big, hefty guys. You know, your frame ain't meant for that, bro. Well, what do you recommend to do? Yo, your frame is more physique and classic bodybuilding and that type of power. It ain't no money in fucking power lifting. What's the, what's the reward? What's the purpose? Everything you should do in your life is to benefit you and your family. How is power lifting? How would that benefit your family? That's how I looked at my life all my life. Like how can I, how is this going to help me financially? How is this going to help me physically? So I can help my family and friends if I had to. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. he said I couldn't deadlift. <laughs> I ain't deadlift in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. coming out. Thank you, dude. Hello. I just like how you talk to people. You're such a nice person. Oh, thank I you. Know. Well, I'm a I'm an ex youth pastor. Uh, I was in the college fraternity. I was a captain of football wrestling track. I ran prison games. I just been a leader all my life. <laughs> I just love that. And you thank you. Is that your mom? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right.
Oh yeah. Wanna get a pit? Big for that. Yeah, so we'll see like what happens. It's gonna be our first one. I'm trying to push up to like 215 weight right now, and I'll cut down around like October. Once October comes around, I'll start. Why you just don't? A lot of see a lot of guys now don't realize a lot of these guys building into the show, not cutting down into the show. You want to build into it, like my boy. Uh, uh, Breon, that one classic bodybuilder oh, yeah. last year. Yeah, he's so right now. He, yeah, he's he's he builds right into yeah. a show. Yeah, y'all got the wrong mentality now. If you eating healthy, eating clean, you get bigger into the show. Got it, got it. Not got cut it. the fuck yeah. down. Because then you'll be too flat. Well, you know what the cut down is? Honestly, the burnt fat body. No, you know what the cut, what people say they go cut down, you know what that is? Getting off supplements uh, that you ain't supposed to take no yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, Protein, creatine, all that shit is bullshit, bro. Yeah. And so once you get off that, that's when your veins start popping, when your cuts start showing. Yeah. That's why I look like this all the time. No, no protein powder, no, no creatine. Doubt. I got you. Got you supposed to already be, I would blow these the fuck out. High rep, every fucking workout. I'm trying, man. Upper trying. chest. No, I gotta work Nothing but yeah. incline. Yeah, yeah. Arms, high rep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. All right, I, in 90 days with you, bro, I have you to looking totally yeah. different. So y'all don't work out right, bro. Yeah. Y'all don't, you're trying to go too heavy. You think creatine and protein go be the answer to your body, and it's not. It's high repetition, clean eating. What you eat now? What, what's your diet? What you eat yesterday? Yesterday, I had six meals. Only breakfast is egg whites, oatmeal, and then everything else is like chicken steak. Why you eat only oatmeal. egg whites? Egg whites with two whole eggs. Two whole eggs. Right? Why you only eat egg whites? For the protein. Why only egg whites? Why not the whole egg? No, I put two. I put two whole eggs, man. Why not all the eggs? Just all of it. Just eat all of it. What part of the chicken you take out? The yolk. No, a ho when you eat chicken, what part do you take out? Oh, an egg is a chicken, right? Egg. You don't take nothing out the chicken? Nah. You should fucking. No, all the, nut chicken, all the nutrients are in the yolk. Yeah, that's okay. true. So why would you take the yolk out? Somebody in the 1960s made up this weird shit that cholesterol is in the fucking yolk. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. No, I heard about that, yeah. But I okay, so you ate uh, your eggs and what else? Uh, then I just eat chicken breast and a steak after a workout. Ready. Where are your carbs at? Oh, the rice. I just eat rice. And then so, oatmeal for breakfast. So, so yesterday you had oatmeal, eggs. What's your next meal? Uh, rice, chicken, and veggies. Rice, chicken, and so veggies. That'll be the next two meals before my workout. I work out after that, it's steak and rice with some veggies. And then uh, one more meal at the end of the day, just all chicken breast. And what supplements you took? Uh, I just take pre workout, that's it. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if you know Calum Bar Moga. I think uh, Koala. Yeah, yeah. I think Koala is right now. Yeah, you need to do hype, you mug. That's I, I used just to, bullshit. I used to just get the coffee and the. No, uh, you need the some of that, now. boy. I used to do that on your old video. Calum ain't got shit on mine. <laughs> no, I'm gonna show down and try the hike in my room. What's your abs looking like? I ain't got nothing. Bro. How your sodium intake? Oh, uh, I take the least amount of sodium. I don't really like calculate it. I just make sure I have salt on my meals. So. You do? Yeah. I don't put salt on nothing. Never no have. salt. That's what. So you tell me no salt? No yeah, salt. What? No salt? You put salt on because he sweat. He sweat the salt out. No. <laughs> Where do you get that from? No. In America, what's the main cause of death? <laughs> Why would you put <laughs> sodium? Yeah. Come on. Flavor. Good flavor. Bro. To get a, a good nigga, pump. my salt is pump. below a thousand milligrams a day. Oh, is it? Salt is the fucking enemy. God, I got it. You put salt in your food? Yeah, put salt in your food. That's why your veins. That's, that's not, the only thing I see. That's why your veins and shit not showing, bro. Really? That's why you're not shredded. Uh, okay, so I'll put no salt there. No salt. You watch my videos? 
I do, I do. I always say no I, salt. I, I used to make sure garlic, I like garlic food. powder and gar not garlic salt. Garlic powder and cilantro is all I use. Okay. I used to make all your, your hyphy shit all the time. No, don't don't, don't do but that. I, I don't put salt Don't take that shit. Okay. I don't even, I hate I did those videos. People try it, walking around puffy and hella Got sodium. It. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you want to be walking around like oh, this. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. For sure. Hard, shredded, yeah. veiny. Definitely. I was always smaller, bro. I was just trying to do it from the side. But you can do that. that. I always thought that, obviously, if you eat more carbs, salt, all that, I thought that would be puffier. No, just to no. get bigger. Salt so is the enemy. Your blood yeah. pressure probably through the roof. Uh, no, I have to get that checked. That checked. It's okay. Uh, You're still young, man. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I ain't got okay, nothing to do. Hey, I got you. That nigga 24 just needed a whole fucking kidney. Yeah. Young well, ain't got you, shit to do with yeah. it. Yeah. You gotta change your lifestyle. Well, yeah. young yeah. age, nigga, right, next, niggas, next time I see you, I'll, niggas I'll, in bodybuilding dropping at 19, 20 right now. Age just don't oh, be know, shit. Yeah. No, for sure. Well, all right, next time I see you, I'll see you. Hell yeah. I'll be Well, I had you right. Cilantro. Okay. So that's, that's it. That's, that's all it. the season that I use. Okay. And what about for like uh, supplementation too? Uh, I, I, I don't take any supplements. I just work out, and I don't take any protein powder, or nothing. Yeah. So I, I don't. Wondering. I don't. All I recommend is eat in a pre-workout. Uh huh. That's truthfully all you need. Pre-workout. You know what I mean? Get, make sure you got. I got BCAAs because a lot of people don't like drinking regular water. Yeah. So I said I'm gonna put a BCAA together so people can get that gallon of water in a day. Oh, you gotcha. know what I mean? Because a lot of people are not making progress in the gym because they dehydrated oh. and don't even know it. If you're not getting a gallon of water a day in. You're, you're, not, you're not hydrated. Right. Especially being a workout person, fitness. Uh -huh. If you're not getting a gallon in a day, you're not hydrated. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and that'll stop you from getting stronger, too. bigger. See, even when you're bulking too, it's good to get that gallon in too. Not well, just when you're cutting. Bro, I'm not yeah. cutting and bulking is not my thing. Yeah. I'ma say looking fucking phenomenal all my life. And for vascularity. Ain't, too. Ain't, ain't no cutting and bulking. You know that just think if I did a bulk. And here it is, Geico commercial called me and say they want me to do a commercial. Yeah. What what the fuck I'ma say? Oh I'm bulking? Uh -huh. Like I'm not in shape, I'm not ready? No, yeah. nigga, we in shape all all the time. Yes, sir. Yo, boat. You know what your boat is? What? Up in your rice. Oh. Up in your yams. Up in your potatoes. That's what your boat. Then it's a clean boat. Yeah. That you could continuously do all your life. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ain't no cut. People try to. Oh, I'm gonna gain 30 pounds. Then I'm gonna cut it down. You gonna look like shit. Yeah. I'm a. I, me. My whole life. I'm worried about getting bigger and bigger and more cut, more shredded, more veins and back. I'm not about to look shitty. Because yes, when you say bulk, that means you go look shitty for a few few months out of the year. I'm yes. not I'm not gonna never look shitty. Yes, sir. I'm always gonna be shredded. Yes. Always gonna be cut. <laughs> and vascular. Ah! All right. <laughs> no, that no. Thanks, bro. Appreciate Much it. love, baby. All right. Let me get some. Let me get along, nigga. Let me get along. <laughs> that's your mom? Oh, that's what's up, boy. <laughs> You right there, you right there. <laughs> baby, what's up, Mark? Hey, let me go on track. Oh, look at you, man. Oh, man. Oh, amazing. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I always loved what, what something. What did you go to, man? Tunes? Uh, was it, it, I don't think it was Tunes, because I was a stripper. Which one? Which I was one? with Men of Exotica. I was an oh, no exotic way. stripper, male dancer. <laughs> For 10 years. You did that for 10 years? Yeah, so yeah. I was all around the Bay Area doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to do that no more. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good, how you doing? Oh, we got 
I got a flexi one with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I want to do. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's a stretch. <laughs> Everybody love that yeah, one. Yeah, man. Me too. too. I was saying that you were an inspiration to me as well because I'm on my fitness journey right now. Oh, nice. I've been, like the past couple of years, I've had like been up and down. You know, like I've had a back injury that really yeah. killed me this year, so I've been going to the chiropractor. How did you hurt your back? I was doing uh, the lat pulls, uh -huh. and then next thing you know, I got up and my whole back just tensed up, Damn. and so I couldn't even walk. Is that and right? It was that bad. And so so was my... you swinging away back or no, something? No, no. Well, I was I was doing the down lat pull. Yeah. yeah, and then I was doing feeling good, and the next thing you know, I got up and then it just felt it seemed. You wasn't up. doing it behind your head, was it? No, no. Oh, okay. No, I was Damn, doing... that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well. yeah. And so, how long did it take for that to heal? Uh, about a month and a half. Yeah. But now it's like I've been going to the chiropractor about three times a week. Uh huh. So yeah, been it's, helping. Yeah, helping a lot. Okay. So I know. I know now it's like taking care of your body is the most important thing. Right. Like, I don't care doubt. how much money it costs that's or whatever. Right. You gotta. You gotta just really get into it yeah well and that's why i've been telling a lot of people you know that you don't have to do unnecessary shit yeah. like deadlifts ass to grass squats yeah shit that's gonna hurt yourself you know what i mean because right. if you get injured mm -hmm. especially that back yeah that, you fuck up that back man, bro that like your whole life could be ruined you know what i mean yes. so yeah man to eat healthy, how long you been training now? Uh, training for about a good two months now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now. I'm on like... How you eating habits? It's, it's, I've been on like no fast food for the past 10 days. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so I feel better. Yeah. Like, like I'm noticing like my stomach is like, I feel like I'm sucking it in, but like I'm not sucking right. it in. Right, yeah, it that's good. It just feels good. Yeah, well, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be keeping it. Keeping Hell it up, yeah. Man. I see the excitement in your eyes. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Let's do You too, how you doing? All right, good. 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 Oh, thank you, man. Good, how you doing? Yeah, man, how you doing? Oh, amazing. Watch pose, you feel me? Oh, shit. You got to do a watch pose. On the sides, at least. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we still dripping. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, man. Much I love. I said I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> thank you, man. Oh, yeah. Keep Much love to you. Good work. Much thank love, you, baby. Could you step in? Be careful, Jerome. I don't want you having a heart attack, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how old are you? Oh, 18 and over, player. 18 or older, yeah. Let me check you out. Let me check you out. Me check you feel out. me? Get a little bit of drip. Ooh, just a little bit. Nice. Just a little bit. Get with it, boy. You can do it with it. Balling. Right next to Togo. I grew up right down the street, man. Oh, yeah. Then I went to Medina's after that. Medina's was the shit. You remember that place? They had. They was the only spot that had the 200 dumbbells. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I couldn't I lift used to them go under. there. You could. Well, I got them right before they closed down, and I believe I did hit them there once. Uh -huh. Maybe I got the 200 one time there, but I go to Diego's. Power Alley. Yeah. In Oakland. You started at 24 Hour Nautilus, though, right? So I started at 24 Hour Nautilus as was a right porter there. when I was 16. Yeah. And I worked there until I went to Fresno State at 18. Yeah. So I left in, in 1993 and went to college. I worked there from 91 to 93. And then I got out of prison in 2007 and work, went and worked at the, at two, 2001 and went and worked at the one at Bay Fair. Yeah. yeah, I remember when they first opened that place. Yeah, yeah. If it ain't about dollars, it don't make sense. But I think, <laughs> other than Diego's gym, Medina's was the most hardcore it was and old school. inspiring. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. You remember it? Yeah. 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 You're looking good, man. Oh, you Congratulations know. Congratulations on the baby. Thank you. Yeah, man. I'm so excited. I know. I didn't uh, see your wife, but I heard. No, she just left. Had to go to sleep. Yeah. She got to pee every two minutes yeah, and me, sleep every. Let me try and get some. Muscle. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta yeah. go wide. Go wide with it. <laughs> Looks dope. Swole monkey. And uh, I, I thought I was swole. I was on a hella ecstasy and drank. So I walk up on day with no shirt on. Hey, let me get a picture with you, man. We took a picture. I, I looked. I had on some shades, too. I did this. <laughs> yeah. That nigga make me look like a little boy. And I dropped, nigga, I poured the alcohol out, threw the ecstasy away. Went and did my first show in seven months and won. Seven months. Yeah. Seven months, how much weight did you gain? 
I think I was about 200. My first show, I was 230. Because I did heavyweight one at the, uh, Orange County. And he ever since then, I just kept getting better and better. Bigger and bigger, too. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. Hi, my friend. Awesome. How long have you been working out? Like seven, eight years. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> What's up with it, man? I'm here with my boy. We at the motherfucking San Jose Expo. Make sure you show them respect, nigga, or we put these motherfucking guns on you, hear me? Do it! Yeah! Because <laughs> they couldn't get buff or whatever, didn't have genetics, yeah, yeah. so people would catch them while they're getting your package. Oh, nigga, I seen that man in the can! You cheating, nigga, you, had, you trying to get buff. They looked at you as a pussy. Yeah. If you took protein powders or, uh, uh, well, creatine has just hit before I got out, but uh, you couldn't get that shit all the time. Yeah. And me, I, when I took creatine, if I, like me, if I don't see my veins and shit popping, something wrong. Something wrong. Well, and take some creatine, you don't see your veins, and I, fuck that. Yeah. I take pride in my vascularity. Fuck no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do a uh, muscular pose. Huh? Do a muscular yeah. <laughs> My boy, 2019 San Jose Fit Expo. He just did 501 pounds on the deadlift. Who y'all? Oh my God! <laughs> and I know it. So, hey, 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 hey! Please do that, little dick, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up with it, man? I'm here with my boy, 2019 San Jose Fit Expo. He just did 501 pounds. Can't none of y'all fuck with him, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah! Oh, I'm here, go. in 2006 I said if I get a computer I'd never be broke again in my life I got that computer and anything I wanted to know how to write my book how to put my music on iTunes how to edit videos how to use Photoshop I learned all that shit how to do a website I put a website of myself a nigga from the hood ex-con I learned how to do all this shit myself. You need a fucking website up, boy. You slacking. You know what I'm saying? That's, bro, I learned how to do all this camera work. I do it. I got two cameras on me. I learned how to edit everything. Do that, bro. Hey, I ain't no excuse. Boy too, like I got producers and everything. See, I see you doing music. I got the card. Who, hey, who? I got three albums. I learned how to put it on iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, everything. So you're doing self distribution? You, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is self published. Nice. I'm create space. Nice. Nice. Man, I don't. Hey, it, it's we got Google. There's no reason for nobody in this fucking world not to know nothing. Everybody in the fucking world should be the smartest people on the planet right now. Right, right. We got Google. Hey man, we here with my boy Cali Muscle. 
damn right, baby. We out here. Man, you oh, got yeah, your get... phone? Follow me on uh, Facebook or on I don't, uh, I don't follow nobody, bro. Don't follow nobody. I, I don't even follow my girl. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. But you know the you reason behind me. that? Social media for me is business. Yeah, that's right. I promote to inspire, motivate, sell a book, sell a music, shirts, all that. I don't. When you start involving yourself with other people's lives like that, it distracts you from the bigger picture. Right. You know what I mean? So I just. And I used to follow tons of. I'm like, I don't need to see about you stressing and depressed and all. Like, that's game right there, man. That's, yeah. like, hey, that's that. Right that's that 510 game right there. That's that that's, Oakland. Hey, that's my mother. Mind your business. 510. She right told me that when I seen a motherfucker get his head blew off. Get your ass out that window right. and mind your business. Right. 510 is my play. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm gonna let you get going, buddy. Oh yeah, much love. Oh yeah. People being jacked, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Make sure y'all stay getting that money and muscle, stay on your hustle, and don't be hate. Don't be hate. No. Oh yeah. I see. You can't be trusted. <laughs> so ain't no cheat meals. Ain't no, you know what I mean, uh, uh, cheating on your diet. Ain't no, ain't no, not going to the gym. We gotta stay focused. I like that. When you took the first scoop How, how did you take it when you first took two scoop How, how did yeah. you take it I gotta go I gotta go I gotta catch a plane I gotta go See ya, that's it That's the show, that's my CD bro I gotta go I gotta catch a plane, I gotta go